Will Charlotte be a significant swift or a swan? How pupils at the princess's nursery are split into groups, receive lessons in poetry and given grades for their behavior. So what can't the fourth in line to the throne expect when term starts on January 4th? Yummy mummies, poetry lessons and some eye-wateringly exorbitant fees. Here is the Daily Mail's guide. Her first day. Handily, Wilcox Nursery is just around the corner from Kensington Palace. There is no uniform and Charlotte can expect to spend her days with the offspring of the upper classes, described in Tatler as a mix of old English families and chic foreigners. With 32 children in the nursery ages 2 to 5, pupils are split into four groups named after birds, cygnets, swifts, swallows and swans. Kate stay and plate. In Charlotte's early days, Kate will be encouraged to take part in stay and plate sessions. For William, there are regular father's breakfasts. If the surroundings seem strange at first to the young princess, there will be a familiar face. One classroom wall has a portrait of the queen, alongside a picture of the crown jewels. Once she is used to being away from home, Charlotte will progress to afternoon sessions and can even participate in lunch club, an informal session designed to prepare children for big school, which runs from 12 to 3 p.m. three days a week. Each child has to bring a packed lunch. Healthy eating is encouraged, with milk to drink and fresh fruit to snap on. Even Princess Charlotte will be expected to help prepare milk cartons for her classmates and tidy the dressing up box. The Fat Miss Lavinia Lavinia Latmere Loveday Taylor, Miss Lavinia to pupils, is both co-owner and headmistress. It's a cooperative, meaning staff are also part owners. She has been teaching for several years and was made head in 2009. Mrs. Taylor, 57 is married with two sons. Tatler describes her as a fat head, known for her kindness. Her motto is, we try our best not to disappoint. As well as Mrs. Taylor, there are five female teachers and a team of extracurricular staff, Lucy the dance teacher, Amelia the French teacher, Pedro the sports coach and Catherine the music teacher. From art to Aristotle, Wilcox prides itself on the politeness of its pupils and prizes manners as highly as numeracy and literacy. Charlotte, no doubt already grounded in royal etiquette, will be coached in everything from table manners to saying please and thank you. It is not all story time and counting to ten, though. Pupils are used to far loftier themes for their lessons, including archaeology, the environment and talks on polar explorer Ernest Shackleton. In a testimonial on the nursery's website, one satisfied parent even mentions Aristotle and Alexander the Great. Children also have a host of visitors from firemen and police women to the local vicar. Pupils are never stuck in the classroom for long, however. They are encouraged to interact with nature, and this includes getting down and dirty with creepy crawlies in the school's spacious playground. There are also sand and water features, construction sets, wheelie toys and plenty of ball games. There are regular outings on which they all wear yellow high-vis jackets, to the Science and Natural History Museums the Royal College of Art and the Royal College of Music, as well as nearby Hyde Park in the summer months. Creativity is encouraged, with singing, dancing and learning musical instruments. Recent arts projects include clay pot making. Creations are proudly displayed in an art gallery on the website. Making the grade. Toddlers get graded and parents receive termly reports of their behavior, along with photographs of what they have been doing. The nursery rated outstanding in its latest OFSTA report, has a reputation for high standards. The report praises everything from the subjects covered to the PTA. The organization of the time that children attend is exceptional, it states. As a result, no time is wasted and children enjoy a productive learning experience. The hefty price tag. With all this on offer, it's certainly not cheap. Morning sessions cost £3,050 the term while afternoon sessions are £1,800. Add in the lunch club and the total is nearly £20,000. As a royal, Charlotte will have bypassed the long waiting list. Parents are encouraged to register their child at birth. They pay £125 to register their child non-refundable if they don't get in a £1,500 deposit the moment they're offered a place. Wilcox does not participate in the nursery education grant the 570 hours free early education offered by local authorities so it really is only for the well-heeled. In almost every respect, Charlotte's nursery is posher.
and pricier than George's Wet de Kermontasari School in Norfolk, which costs just £33 a day. Keeping her safe. After recent reports of an intruder at George's school, royal bodyguards will be on high alert to make sure Charlotte is safe. Parents and teachers may be asked to sign non-disclosure agreements in advance of her arrival. Tucked away as it is, Wilcox is low risk. Tatler describes it as understated and under the radar.